The cap gets a new look and new shields. Here's your look at the new Diamond Select Avengers Infinity War Captain America. As the Avengers and their allies have continued to protect the world from threats too large for any one hero to handle, a new danger has emerged from the cosmic shadows, Thanos, a despot of intergalactic infamy. His goal is to collect all six Infinity Stones, artifacts of unimaginable power, and use them to inflict his twisted will on all of reality. Everything the Avengers have fought for has led up to this moment. The fate of Earth and existence itself has never been more uncertain. This fully articulated 7-inch scale action figure of Captain America is based on his appearance in Avengers Infinity War and features 16 points of articulation. You ready for the review of Captain America? I am. But before we do anything, sorry to tease you, before we do anything, we're going to first figure out how tall the figure stands. That's a good place to start, and then we'll look at all his accessories and his diorama display base. Did you just say a diorama display base? I did. Before we do that, though, look at this tease. What a tease. The Ultra Measuretron 5000 tells us that the new Avengers Infinity War, Captain America stands at 7.1 inches in height in centimeters. Quickly switching over because time, I'm sure you guys are, of course, waiting for the review. 18.2, 18.2, centimeters in height. So, yeah, like I was saying, he does come with a display base, a grassy knoll, if you will. Uh, it does have two pegs on the front, or on the top, I guess, rather. And uh, you have a little display piece that you could put Captain America on top of. Uh, you know, for it's what it is, I mean, it's a great accompanying piece if you also want to display this grassy knoll, this little terrain here, with other figures as well. One of the true benefits of one of the, certainly of the benefits of picking up the Diamond Select releases is that you usually often at times get these display bases that are just as impressive as the figures themselves that you can, again, use for other things as well. I'm sure as well, even though if you are collecting this figure for specifically Captain America, I mean, you could very well use this terrain for something like a Michael Myers, eh? Just throwing out that idea to you. So really cool, again, that we get this little display stand. Simplistic and executed in a simple way, but certainly something, again, you can use with other figures. Then we look at Captain America's accessories. Well, he comes with a series of interchangeable hands. Let's go ahead and cycle through those right now. Currently, he's got a pair of closed fists. Not going to be doing all that much. But he does also have a pair of partially relaxed hands. You can see right there. He does also have a series of gripping hands of various different grips. This one right here, for example. And last but certainly not least, these ones right here. You know, I'm looking at the gloves. Uh, these are gloves, after all. And they do seem off to me. The coloring and the placement of the coloring seems like it's off. I'd have to go back and look at the material in which the figure is based from. But it seems like the paint is in the wrong places. We'll have to go back and certainly double check that. But the hands, again, will help you, will aid you when it comes to displaying him with the shields. He comes with two versions of the Wakanda shields. When you get this guy out of the packaging, he comes with these ones already attached to the arm sockets. For the opener of this review, I've simply just popped the hands off, slid these off. I don't know why I'm doing all these sound effects. And uh, again, you've got this as an option, or you also have these shields as well, much larger. And uh, these ones also have the extended front blades, these front tips, if you will. The only downside, though, is while it is good that this does retract and extend, when you are ready to put the hands through, let me just show you what I'm talking about here. Go ahead and grab the figure. Go ahead and take the hand off. I want to first show you how it looks when you get them out of packaging. So we just replace the hand. Traveling back in time, that's what it looks like right there. That's when you initially get it out of the package. Now if you want to do the swap out to the new shield, just again, pull the hand out, pull the shield off, and replace it with this one. But you'll see right off the bat, this little tab point, basically what that serves is it's just basically a ledge in which the point slides back and forth on. When you are putting it on the forearm, it can't help, right there, you can see it, 
that the forearm gets stuck, stuck against that little circular tab. So you just want to push forward with it. But again, it's just, I wish it wasn't necessarily there. In fact, I almost even would have forfeited putting that there all in its entirety and just keeping the shield fully extended because there's really no way to move that around. Then when you get the hand and replace it back, you're sort of fighting against that little tab point there. Eventually it stays in place, but it just seems like it's more of a hassle than anything else. And the shield does sit a little on the loose side. A loose shield is perfectly fine, but again, just getting the arm in place can be a little bit of a, a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, when we both get both of Cap's arms in place with the shields, let me just slide that other one in place again. I guess the logical idea is it does, the forearm doesn't really have to go past that point. The hand then goes in and uh, replaces, let me go ahead, fills in the place where the forearm wouldn't have gone anyways, but it just feels like every time you put the shield in, it's fighting against that little tab section. And as a result, I never feel like the shields fit in fully and they, sit, they do again sit a little on the loose side. There's the one and there's the other on the other side. So probably gonna be how I'm gonna display the figure. I think for the rest of this review, simply just because this is gonna be moving around on me, I'm gonna take the shields off, resume the review, and then maybe put the shields back on at the end in final looks. Everybody's now anxiously awaiting. Some people may be fast forwarding ahead to the end of this review. Don't fast forward to the end of this review. There's a lot of good meat in the middle here. Don't be getting to the very end bun. Let's have a look at the figure though. Captain America, certainly to be said in the Avengers Infinity War, sports a slightly different, darker, grittier look. His outfit, of course, now has been slightly tarnished, ripped, and torn. His star is now completely taken right off, and colors that are normally bright, such as the reds and the whites, are now darker in contrast. He's also got these shoulder straps, which were slightly different from the ones in the previous suits. Coloring is good on this guy. I do slightly stop for the second when I look at his head sculpt, as I do feel like the head sculpt is off. I feel like perhaps the beard is a little too full. The hair doesn't seem as long, but at least at the very least, uh, it's got some nice sculpting to it. Probably would have added a little bit of extra blonde to it. Unfortunately though, like paint, I think is somewhat the, the culprit here for what ends up letting this figure down. Areas such as the neck, for example, we've already, of course, discussed the gloves, whether those are show accurate or not. But certainly the neck being a slightly lighter shade of color for the otherwise coloring of his front face, the skin tone of his face, does seem a little jarring that the neck is a little on the paler side. I don't know, though. The head sculpt is good, but I feel like maybe it is the beard that is taking away from it. Like if the beard was maybe just a little bit lower, I almost feel like it's too much beard. Too much beard. Certainly a somber looking Captain America. Uh, again, for what it is, I mean, the coloring isn't so bad, but I just feel like that maybe there's too much paint, too much beard happening. Hashtag too much beard happening. Uh, as for the rest of his body, I mean, again, it's a pretty good looking Captain America. The jarring stopping point for me really is like the head. The head feels uh, not unfinished, but certainly feels like it's definitely not this. It could have been a lot better of a head sculpt, I think. But I have absolutely no disappointments at all with the rest of the body. The belt is a separate loose appliance. I mean, it does shift around to you uh, for the figure and likely due to the case that you will be swiveling the waist back and forth is maybe the reasoning why this is a loose piece rather than gluing it in place. It's got some nice coloring there on the side pockets with the blue and the dark, almost like dark brown, a little bit of silver accents there as well. Some nice panels striping down the leg and we get down to Captain America's boots, which are very accurate to the, sh in, to the movie itself. We've got little buckles there on the side, painted in brown to the otherwise backdrop of the dark black boots. You can probably already see as well, that he's got an uh, ankle pivot happening in the figure, so you can get him in various different poses. And luckily, again, bringing in one of my favorite aspects about this figure, he comes with the grassy display base that you can display the figure with. Uh, when it comes to this guy's posability, his head rotates all the way around. It hinges up and down. And does it rock back and forth? Not so much. 
The shoulders hinge out, however. You can rotate them all the way around. You can swivel at the top cut of the bicep. A double hinge on the elbow like that. And a swivel also in the wrist. Would have liked also that this guy could have come with the shield. Not the shield, the spear as well from the from the movie. Even though he doesn't really have it for a long period of time, it would have been nice to also see this guy get the, sh the uh, I keep wanting to say the spear, the shield, the spear, I should say. He has an upper torso ball joint. Uh, like I say, he's got that lower waist cut. Legs split. There's one, there's the other. They go forward, they go back. He has a swivel on the half cut of the thigh, which allows the legs to rotate all the way around. A double hinge on the knee. And uh, while he doesn't have anything in the boot necessarily, he does have quite a sufficient amount of ankle rocking and ankle pivot back and forth. And he can also hinge the feet up and down. Get this guy all straightened up. Get this guy ready for final show. And just for some size comparisons, I just so happen to have him just right here, almost as if I planned this whole thing. Slightly looser arms, sadly, be the case on the Iron Spider. But here's also the Infinity War Iron Spider. Which I guess they don't really make appearances. They don't see one another in the film. But, as you can see, the Captain America figure is a little bit taller than the Iron Spider here on the left. For the most part, I don't find this figure to be a disappointing release from Diamond Select. Although I do feel like the head lets this figure down slightly. The paint is pretty good, no real complaints there, but I feel like there's something off on the beard. There he goes again, talking about the beard, but maybe that is the thing that's the detractor on this particular figure. The beard ultimately doesn't make it look then like Chris Evans. It almost looks like somebody else. The rest of the costume is quite good. The introduction of the shields, though there is that little tab point, sort of is a restrictor to allow the forms to go completely through. Uh, overall, again, though, not a bad figure, and I like the fact that also that he gets the two Wakanda shields, and he also gets the Wakandan terrain that he can pose the figure on top of. Or, or, if you want to also use that terrain for, say, another figure, Michael Myers, you can certainly do that as well. Good news, though, is if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, the Iron Spider that we've already had a look at in a previous review, and the new Captain America that we looked at in this review, are both available now in comic book stores. Today we were having a look at the Diamond Select. This was the Avengers Infinity War, and this was a very, very bearded Captain America with two Wakanda shields. Want to go back and have a look at some of my other Marvel Select or Diamond Select reviews? There's playlists for both. Why not also, if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button that's just below this video. And to ensure that you haven't missed out on anything that I've posted up to this point, why not swing on over to the homepage. Check out some of the thumbnails, the various sexy thumbnails that are going on over the page. Did you just say sexy thumbnails? The sexy thumbnails that are over on the homepage will be your indicator as to what you've seen and maybe what you haven't seen just yet. Sure, people are always talking about the bell notification, and that works, but the best 100% money-back guarantee that you haven't missed out on anything I've posted up to this point, swing on over to the homepage and check out the videos section. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.